one quarter of Vancouver's road schedule is in the books, and the club is in good shape because of its success away from home. The Canucks won more than they lost on their recent five-game trip and returned to GM Place fresh off a 5 nothing drubbing of the Blackhawks. Now the Canucks will settle in for a two-game homestand. It's not much, but at least they're in front of their home fans, a place they've only been twice so far. It's the Canucks versus Ovechkin in the Capitals, and it's next on Sportsnet. on Rogers Sportsnet. The regular season is three weeks old, but tonight marks just the third time Canuck fans will see their team at GM Place. It's a big one. Alexander Ovechkin and the Capitals are in town. Hello and welcome to GM Place. My name is Dan Murphy. When Anson Carter finished with 33 goals last season, many people argued it was the Sedin twins who made Carter, while others said that Carter fueled the Sedins. In all reality, it was probably just a great fit for all three. And now it seems like whoever plays with Daniel and Henrik is a good fit. At the start of the season, it was Marcus Naslin. Lately, it has been Taylor Pyatt cashing in. He's got three goals in his last four games, so why has he been good with the Twins? Well, he's not afraid to go to those scoring areas, and when he gets there, you know Daniel and Henrik will get him the puck. He's also a big guy with a good shot and a quick release, as you'll see from these highlights, where every goal looks a lot like the one before it. He's got five goals on the season, and that's tied for the team lead with Daniel and Marcus Naslem. There's a definite buzz in this building tonight. Everybody eager to see Alexander Ovechkin. But it's also big because it is the return of Carrot. Yes, Glenn Hanlon making his first trip to Vancouver as a head coach in the National Hockey League. Of course, he was a player with the Canucks back in the late 70s and early 80s, one of the most popular on and off the ice. He also spent eight seasons with the Canucks coaching staff before taking on a full-time job in the AHL. He was named head coach of the Capitals back in December of 2003. So that means this season is his first full season behind the bench. One more note, we'll have a microphone on Matt Cook tonight, so we'll play you what we can play you in the first and second intermission. 